Gavin Letourneau. How you doing, Gav? Feeling good today? Good. Nice, nice. So i uh, got a couple questions for you. Uh, let's, let's rip through them, see how it goes. Uh, why did you join the wrestling team? So, funny story was, it was actually Coach Gucci. It's like, hey, you, join the wrestling I'm like, all right, I'll see what my mom says. She's like, dude, you're like perfect for this. You're big and strong, blah, 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 blah. He, I think he was just trying to like build me up to wrestle. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, I'll see it. I'll try it. And he's like, dude, I actually want to join the team now. When I first, like, our meet, first meet or so, he's like, for being a rookie, you didn't actually do bad. I, can, I mean, I got pinned in like 30 seconds. This kid was for, like, in the top 10 in the state. So at our work, at our grade. So it was, I mean, that's how I joined. Okay. Uh, right, to uh, find a sport that would like fit a more combative thing. I, I didn't like football, I didn't like any of those sports, so I thought let's give wrestling a chance and I joined eighth grade year and it's been like this ever since, going like three years strong. Well after football they were motivating me, uh, the lawlesses were motivating me to do wrestling. That's how I like it. Uh, I started in seventh grade, I wrestled for Die Hard and there was nobody really my size, so it wasn't like a lot of fun for me. So I said I wasn't gonna wrestle next year. And then Coach Kucher uh, talked to my parents and asked if I wanted to wrestle for his middle school team. And I said I'd give it a try, and I fell in love with it. Uh, I joined the wrestling team because when I played football, <clears throat> Little League, I had, um, it was Evan Kucher and then this kid named Brooks who said that I should join the wrestling team for Die Hard. And I thought, okay, maybe. I don't know if I really want to do that. And he said, it would help you with football. So I was like, I'll try it. And it went to Die Hard. I sort of liked it a little bit. And then I got Scott into it uh, next year. And I just thought it wasn't really my thing. And then um, Coach Kucher told us we should join the Rochester Middle School team. And I wasn't really looking forward to it, to be honest. But then we joined it, and ever since then, I loved it.
I did it in middle school. It was, in middle school, it sounded like a fun sport. Tried it out, fell in love with it in the middle school, and just been doing it since. Um, for fitness, cardio, and to just have fun. <laughs> I had some friends on the team, you know, they just really wanted me to do it to get the numbers up. And I had some family members who did it, so I'm like, why not? I joined and ended up loving it. Yeah. Nice. And I started working out, getting getting some muscles, and I knew it was a good opportunity to uh, to wrestle. What do you I wasn't really involved in any sports up until sixth grade, and then when I joined, I found out it was awesome to be in an environment where you're constantly pushing yourself and bettering yourself, and I just stuck with it. Nice. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun, and it, uh, it's a great way to keep my body in shape. Uh, well, I started wrestling in seventh grade, and it just increased up quickly. And uh, I heard stories from my dad's friend, Eric Bradley, who uh, did Bellator and all that. But, uh, and it just inspired me to keep pushing. I want to be like him one day. Um, I saw it on TV and it looked pretty fun, so why not try it? I think it was back in 8th grade, playing my soccer coach told me to do it so I could get, you know, more bulky and stuff. That's really, really it. And I kind of stayed with it because it was good exercise and, you know, the team was, the team was nice. Oh. <laughs> Man, in 8th grade, Noah Jackson got me to join. I was like, I'll come to sign ups. And uh, I guess the rest is history. It's been a pretty fun journey. Yep. Definitely. Yep. Yeah.
What have you learned from wrestling? There's a lot of things I've learned. Uh, definitely hard work. Uh, this is definitely the hardest work and the hardest work I've ever done in my life. It's a mean workout. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Yep. Looking good, by the way. Thank you. Did you lose some weight? Uh, a lot of discipline. You know, not to go ham and absolutely knock someone out. And also how to just, like, really her, yeah, master moves. How to make it, like, smooth or how to really just go. Yep. Uh, well, what I've learned from wrestling is that it's a brotherhood, and it's a friendship, and it's a family, that you, you may be like mad at your teammates, and you might fight with them sometimes, but they will always have your back, and it's just like always going to be the greatest thing. It's, it's probably going to be my highlight of my high school career, is sports in general. But wrestling is probably number one. Nice. Uh, ever since I started wrestling, I've been a lot more like, not hard on myself, but like, I was wanting to like, work out and wanting to get myself better yeah. just for the sport. But, so. I learned a lot, not even physically, mentally. It yeah. helped a lot. Gets you to do stuff. But physically, I'm in the best shape of my life right now and looking forward to keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, it keeps yep. you tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Anything can be achieved with hard work, you just have to have the right attitude for it. And really the only person holding yourself back is you. A lot of the moves, um, but I don't know, that's it. I, I don't know, there's just a lot of the moves. Uh, I've learned respect, uh, I've learned discipline. Mm -hmm. That it requires a lot of hard work to achieve your goals. Uh, respect. Dedication, discipline, uh, grit. Uh, you know, uh, when you're battling, how to dig deep and wrestling overall has made me a much better person. Uh, it's learned about the same stuff as he has and teaches you to be a hard worker. And when you're in it, just you love it and you just want to keep the grind. You just want to get better and better. Right. Um, you know, I've learned a lot of moves, I've learned different ways that you can kind of change your weight, not necessarily, but like, I don't know, <laughs> not necessarily change your weight, but like, yeah, get in shape. Describe wrestling in a few words. Tough, fast paced, and tiring. Tough, mentally crippling if you think about it, and fun. Uh, tough, discipline, I guess. I don't know how to. <laughs> and. See, tough, mentally, mentally empowering, and. Uh, just great. Just yeah. great. <laughs> Beautiful violence. Perfect. Um, brave, strong, and fun. Fun, hard, and fun. Wrestling is a full contact but fun sport. <laughs> Best way to describe it in my opinion. Yeah. Toughest sport ever. <laughs> Tough as hell. Uh, empowering, um, getting to work, getting your hands dirty, very excruciatingly tough, uh, mentally challenging, and just wicked fun. Tough, um, exciting, and it pays off. Do you ever wonder during a match if your singlet's gonna rip? No, I, I, I'm, that's not usually what I'm thinking about. I'm trying to get a good setup or a nice takedown usually. Or it rips, it rips. It ri yeah, it rips. That's why you wrestle. No.
<laughs> Pretty confident in the fabric, I guess. Okay. Yeah. A couple times, yeah. Uh, I never thought that, but I hope not. A few times. I like. I'm scared of like bending over, and you're just hearing a rip. And now you're like cheeky on the mat. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I get scared that my uh, single will rip. Uh, I'm not really scared of ripping, but I'm scared of going out there with swass. <laughs> a huge line of sweat down my butt crack. Nope. <laughs> I believe in it. I believe in it. Have you ever had a wrestling match where your singlet has ripped? Never. Nope. <laughs> never seen that. Never seen that. Never had that happen. So they're pretty, they're pretty sturdy equipment. They are. They are. I gotta imagine the shorts are probably more likely than the single legs. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, here's one for you. What, what do you think would be the uh, most amusing matchup here uh, on the team? Oh, we actually do it from time to time. And my favorite is Noah Jackson versus Tony Marshall. <laughs> uh, it's, it's quite exciting. We keep it on the ground only, so no one's taking each other down, but it is entertaining, to say the least. A big guy versus a little guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's always yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Ready! Wrestling on the mat is basically a chess game. You could have strength, you could have speed, endurance, but you also need wisdom. You gotta wait for the right move at the right time and be able to execute it. You're waiting for your opponent to make an error and he sees that opportunity to uh, exploit that error. The question is, who's gonna make the mistake first?
And I think it makes sense uh, to start with the Division Two Coach of the Year. So congratulations on that, sir. That's, uh, I didn't know you knew about that. Yeah, thank you. I do my research. Um, well, not all of it, but I, I figure these things out. And Alex was nice enough to confirm it for me. <laughs> But I, I wanted to, uh, you know, recognize you for that because I see great things happening out there, you know, with Spalding, more representation than I remember seeing in, in the last couple of years on the mat, as well as down in the middle school working with, you know, Coach Nato, watching mm -hmm. what's going on there and that, that synergy and that feeder program being created. So it's no, no doubt that you picked up that award. So congratulations on that. And thank you. Thank you. You know, 106, it, it belonged to your, your guy, Noah Jackson, and he, uh, you know, looks like he got a pretty quick pin out there in the, in the final. So tell me a little bit about his day and, and, and what it looked like. Sure. Uh, so 106 had, had four competitors, so all, all four will move to, to the media champions. Um, Noah Jackson, he was Spalding's first state championship since 2015. So we were really, really excited to get that one checked right off the box there. It was great. Um, in the first round, there was a bit of an upset. Um, the three seed, uh, Jameson Keller, uh, was able to upset, upset Portsmouth's uh, Cooper Mee. Um, that was rather surprising. Cooper Mee was the two seed. Um, good athletic build, strong 106-pounder. Um, Mr. Keller was able to uh, get, a, get, get a pin and move and punch his ticket to the finals where he, he met Noah Jackson. They wrestled earlier in the year. Um, Noah won that time. Uh, this time, uh, Jameson Keller out of Hollis Brookline uh, gave a, a much better match. He looked really strong, so you could tell he's put in a great amount of work. Uh, but but Noah was able to pull it out, and, and we're super excited and pumped and happy for him. Well, that's great. Again, you know, like you said, checking that box off for the first state champion in, in what, seven years. Yeah. Um, again, a, a signal to, to what's going on over there. So what is your best wrestling attribute or move? Uh, I like the duck under. I think I'm pretty decent in that one. Nice. I'll say my speed. I used to wrestle 240, and I was the heaviest in the beat. And so now at 180, I can just go. Like, if I really wanted to, I could pick up the boots and be out of someone's way. Right. My best, but my favorite wrestling move would probably just be the fireman's. Nice. Uh, the shot. Nice. Uh, well, let's say the Scotty, the Scott Lallis, and the Noah Lallis call me Mr. Funk because I wrestle like no other person. Currently, I'm super funky and I like to roll a lot. I like to flop my leg in and wrap around the person and go ham on their head when they're not paying attention or not expecting it. Mm -hmm. And the Fat Man Roll is what got me myself uh, this season. Was the thing that got me a lot. Yeah. I got a lot of wins out of that. Nice. Probably just my double leg, something basic. I think I put down pretty much on my cradles. I'd say power and uh, power and stability. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the fireman's carry. I love that move. Yep. It never fails me. Yeah, I got a video of you doing it, and it came out and pretty cool. Uh, I really like the double leg takedown. Good. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, my best attribute, definitely my strength and my hunger and want to just continuously get better because I feel like, I don't know, I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be and I'm never happy with how I wrestle. I just want to get better. But my best move is probably like as a takedown, probably like fireman's carry or like a blast double. I'd say my best uh, attributes are strength and flexibility. My favorite move is probably a double leg or high crotch, I'd say. Well, I wouldn't really say complete favorite, but one I'm probably best with and then, yeah. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the coaches? I want to say thank you for teaching me this, not even, not that it's just a sport, teaching me life lessons along the way, just like keep your head up, you'll never, there's always somebody better than you, but if you think about it, no one is because you're your worst enemy as well, yep. and you're fighting against yourself, even if this kid is 
a lot better than you, you can still beat them. Yep. You guys are awesome. And I mean, I would not be in the place I am today if, you know, coach didn't stop me in that one hallway in eighth grade year and tell me that he could make me a state champion. Uh, thanks for coaching me. It's been a good season. I, I have three more good seasons, so. Thank you. You guys have helped me all the way through middle school. Coach Kucher and Nadu this year with Coach um, Kaus, Coach Druin, and Coach Stone. You guys have helped out a lot. Thank you. The following coaches are the best coaches I've ever had. Just thank you. Just thank you for everything. Yeah. Which thank you for being awesome and uh, giving sharing all this awesome knowledge with us. Uh, just thank you for teaching me, and, you know. <laughs> no? Good job. Being there for a long time. Yeah. Uh, he's probably the best high school coach I've ever had. Yeah. Very supportive and friendly. Uh, thank you for recruiting me. I, you know, I wouldn't have done this if it wasn't for them. Without them, I wouldn't have uh, continued wrestling. So thank you very much. I've learned a lot of cool stuff from you guys and uh, found what I love because of you guys, so thank you. Yeah, thank you for literally everything. Like, you brought the Rochester program back and it's just been an awesome journey. They've really helped me out, definitely. They're some of my favorite people to talk to now. Yeah. They're, they're here for me and I know that. Nice. Which wrestler on the team takes the longest to get ready? Probably me. If I'm being honest, I gotta make sure I'm ready for practice or else I'm not in the right mindset, so work right. hard. Uh, I'd have to say, i say Troy Clark, because he gets here like the latest, so we're all waiting on him. Uh, Troy, Wesley, and Chance, they're really slow. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say definitely Troy. Probably me with my back raise, I have to take it off. So. Sammy, just because he gets here late. <laughs> the ones that get here last, like Troy. Slow poke. It's always Troy. Yeah. <laughs> get ready. Either Troy Clark or um, Matthew Bowen. Ah. Slow. Yeah. Yeah. Is he doing his hair or something? Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, don't know. A lot of them are pretty slow. Jesse. You guys are really like. Probably me, honestly. Hmm. Jackson Morgan. <laughs> Which wrestler is the funniest? Uh. Wesley. Probably, probably Scotty or Noah. <laughs> Definitely. Scotty. <laughs> chance. Uh, probably Chance. Chance. Funniest. Say the loudest, brothers. <laughs> And then, one of them. and then I say Troy. He's just funny. Troy's like, funny. Just look at him and you laugh. Yeah, he's really funny. <laughs> Jack's really funny. I, uh, no allows. <laughs> Whoa. Probably Chance. Gavin. Mm -hmm. Even though he's weird. Yeah, yeah, Gavin is a little weird. <laughs> a little weird, yeah. <laughs> Jesse, how's that? Callan. Callan. I'd have to say a mix between I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself on a pedestal me and then I'd have to say oh my god whoever's knocking on that door <laughs> yeah, exactly a couple more uh, what would be the funniest wrestling matchup if you were to match up two guys on the team uh, I'd say it would be Tony Marshall and our 285 and Noah Lalas our 106 <laughs> that would be funny. Tony and uh, Noah Jackson. <laughs> Okay, perfect.
Uh, a good one, I, I would say, would be like, what's it, Colin versus like one of the coaches, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like that'd be funny. <laughs> Maybe against Druin. <laughs> Lightweight versus heavy. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Always funny. Yeah. Matt versus Colin. Matt versus Colin. <laughs> uh, so, I kind of want to see Matt Bully versus Scott Lallis because I want to see what Scott can do against Big Boy Matt. Matt is a big boy. Yeah. He is strong kid as well, but I want to see what a bear would be going against a wolf, if you think about it. Um, I'd say Gavin and uh, Coach Drew and that would be a good matchup, I'd like to see that. <laughs> I'd, I'd say Gavin and Scott, just cause like, Gavin like, Scott gets him on bottom and Gavin rolls. Scott will get so pissed, it'll just be too funny. Very funny. Finest? Gavin's definitely in there. Hey! He's, so, he's always in there. <laughs> Gavin. Gavin and maybe I, I Isaiah maybe have to be kind of a funny match to watch. No, I, no, Gavin and Evan Kuchu. Noah Jackson and Matthew Bowley. Uh, Wesley and Noah Jackson. Where did you talk this? I want to say definitely Gavin. I don't know who else. Maybe <laughs> a little guy? That would be fun. A little big thing. Like me and Gavin? Yeah. That would yeah. be great. <laughs> oh, that's hard. There's a lot that I'd like to see. Funniest would probably be Scott and Joe. I think that'd be that'd be a good match. Good match. Has any of the coaches given you any words of wisdom? Coach Druin. I was hoping you'd say. Yeah. yeah. What did he say? He's uh. He said a lot of stuff to me, but he said the the one thing that I remember is this will be the best decision in your life, and yeah. it has been so far. Right, he didn't say anything mean to you. No. <laughs> All right. Of course. Has any of the coaches uh, given you any words of wisdom? Probably. I just can't think of any. <laughs> yes, Drew and Coach Nato and Coach Future. Oh. Remember what any of those words are? The little things matter in life. And it doesn't matter how many matches you win or lose. Just as long as you uh, give, a, give a good fight. Nice. Perfect. Uh, yeah, they all basically just like, stick with it. Nice. Pretty good words. Um, when I was working a job and I was not being as consistent earlier in the year, uh, they said that you work all your life, but you only wrestle four years. So that's what made me want to take time off from work. Every day. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. It's all about... That's it. Thank you. Nice. Well, like quotes? Yeah. Um, I remember him saying something. We were running stairs and he was like, remember not to listen to the voice inside your head that tells you. I think that's what not really. Uh, pretty much all the coaches have just told me, don't give up, keep fighting until one of you get pinned. I don't really remember any, but... Uh, <laughs> Druin said I got to, uh, Druin said take it slow and play it like you know it. Because I'm nice. overzealous on that. Uh, Coach Druin my freshman year told me, uh, it, it really made me want to be better. He said, Scott, you think you're good, but you suck. And that's probably the best thing I've heard. <laughs> yeah, when I went out there, he said something to me too. He said, uh, after I just lost the match, he came up to me, because I, mad that I lost and then he told me remember this kid's a loser just like you <laughs> <laughs>
My name is Evan, and I'm doing the Spalding... Snow Angel? Snow Angel challenge. <laughs> I'm challenging the Lalas brothers. Let's do this. Oh. 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 oh my god, it's so cold! Oh god. Oh my god. Go. It's the uh, Spalding Wrestling Snow Angel Challenge. I challenge Coach Kuchar. And I challenge Gavin Letourneau. Here we go. Let's go. Go down. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Guys, Coach Kucher here with the Spalding Wrestling Snow Angel Challenge. My challenge as I wear this oversized singlet is to Chance Hagen. You have been challenged by Coach Kucher to do the challenge. <laughs> Snow Angel Challenge. For wrestling, and I challenge Dylan Gravelise. Let's do this. The Spalding Snow Angel Challenge, and I challenge Matt B. I sunk into the snow. This is pain. <laughs> Come on, do it. Let's see it. <laughs> I think I'll lay here for a while. Oh. Uh. Chance Hagen, I nominate Wesley Alfonso for the Spalding Snow Angel Challenge. Okay. <sighs> Wasn't better the second time. Hi, my name is Matthew Ballard. This is the Spalding Wrestling Snow, Snow Angel Challenge. All right. I challenge Kellen Green. Design your own wallpapers with Canva. Oh, so cute. I'm Alfonso, captain of the Spalding High School wrestling team, and this is the Spalding Wrestling Snow Angel Challenge. I nominate Lane Medea. Hi, this is Kellen Green. I'm doing the Spalding Snow Angel Challenge. I nominate Jackson Morgan to do this. Let's go! from the Spalding Wrestling Team, and this is the Snow Angel Challenge. Go, Jack! Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Where'd you fell off? Oh, look at me inside! Oh, man! Who are you calling out? I call out... Call Hi, I'm doing a Spalding Snow Angel Challenge. I nominate Jade. I'm Jade Wood. This is the Spalding Snow Angel Challenge with Flair. Oh, it's so cold. I don't go away. Who are you nominating? Uh, Chance. I'm Jesse Thompson. Uh, I'm doing the Spalding Wrestling Snow Angel Challenge. I nominate Joe Buffard. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Okay, I'm Isaiah Gray. I'm the 220 on the Spalding High School Wrestling Team. Um, I'm gonna do the Snow Angel Challenge. I nominate Coach Druin. And, and kind of just that bracket in general. I know Moscatelli is fun to watch. Sure is. He sure is. Uh, that whole bracket was pretty entertaining all day. Uh, the quarterfinals had a pretty exciting match. Uh, 
six C Cooper Carlson of Merrimack really contributed to his his team's great performance that day. Uh, he was able to upset the three seed uh, uh, Wagner from Bishop Girton. Uh, Wagner ended up getting revenge later on in the Conce finals, but um, it really kind of flipped the script there. And 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 Carlson went on to to, to wrestle Scott Lallis of Spalding. Uh, Scott's a senior. Uh, goes to Smitty's Barn regularly. I mean. Him and his brother, they get up at five in the morning. They're wrestling and lifting weights before we wake up every day. It's just incredible. His work ethic, um, you know, you just wish you could have a whole team, you know, full of those Lallis brothers. They're an they're re- incredibly hard worker. Um, so he cruised right on through up to the finals. Troy Mascatelli, uh, just tremendous, three-time state champion. Uh, Scott was able to put up nine points on him and uh, – and, and go the full distance with him, which is uh, better than he did against uh, Troy earlier in the season. So you always like to see those improvements. Uh, both of these wrestlers, uh, Troy and Scott, they're just incredible ambassadors for the sport of wrestling in New Hampshire.
In the winter of 2022, a team that seemed to be long since forgotten made its mark in the wrestling community. With the odds stacked against them, the Raiders forged ahead, feeding off individual successes and grasping to the wisdom of their coaches. Through the tough months of blood and sweat, the team found a solidarity of old. This unity led to a series of successes at several meets, including victories against Manchester Memorial, Alvarine, Portsmouth, Goffstown, Manchester Central, Newport, White Mountains, Exeter, and Merrimack. The team found success in most of its battles, ending the season in fourth place at States, including one first place champion at 106, second place at 132, and second place at 152. The Raiders have proven that they are a force to be reckoned with, and will continue the momentum under a potent coaching staff. One team united under a modest understanding and desire to achieve. We are the true underdog. We will overcome. We will find success. We are Raiders.